Hello everybody, um, we've come to Whitby for the weekend, not for the weekend, for the day. Um, I've just realised I haven't brought my micro muff, uh, my thing. So I apologise in advance if there's a lot of wind on the end of these um, bits where I got the camera. Um, but yeah, we've come to Whitby and thought I'd take you around for the day. Probably not going to talk much to the camera because it is heaving. There's loads of people here and I don't really want to be stared at. So um, yeah, bring you along with us. So we just had some uh, fish and chips we shared a box um because we figured that we might have some like donuts or something later on i don't know if this is just a, like a huddersfield thing or whether it's just like a me thing and tom but we always remember coming to the seaside and having donuts at the seaside so i want some donuts later on so just had a little bit of fish and chips didn't we i actually think it's a you thing because uh i never had uh did it? Yeah. Nearly whacked me on the head. I'm glad it didn't pull on my head. Um, you never had? I never done it since season. Well, they didn't do donuts at the French Riviera, did they? <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> we were having, you know, artisan gelato. Artisan gelato and oysters. Yeah, it was only the, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach where you got donuts. <laughs> this is a running joke with me and Tom because Tom has... Um, a privileged background shall we say and so it's always a running joke when it comes to like childhood memories um taking the piss out of tom for yeah, having a privileged background a yeah we went like once a decade when yeah. my mum had saved up all the pancakes when you saved up all the tokens from the sun <laughs> no that was finally when we went on That's a, a nine pound fifty sun holiday <laughs> anyway um yeah so we've had some uh, fish and chips and now we're uh we're gonna have a little mosey um we're gonna walk onto the harbour um, and have a look at the sea and then I'm looking straight up at the abbey at the hundred steps so we're gonna go and go up the steps as well and Tom lost a bet this morning didn't you love and tell me about your bet you lost yeah. but still until we leave I said that you got swans in the river and Charles how you do it don't get swans at the sea Tom reckoned that you could get swans at the seaside and I said you don't get swans at the yeah. seaside so we bet me I'm not going to tell you what he got if I lost, but basically, if he lost, I was allowed to buy as many books as I wanted at the seaside. And needless to say, it's not over yet. It's not over. Thomas lost. And so I get to buy as many books as I want now, which is cool. Come back here. Come here. People are going to stare at me if they see that I'm talking to my phone, whereas you, you hide it. <laughs> oh, right, thanks. People think you're less weird. People think I'm less weird this way now. So, yeah, we're going to go for a donder. Yep. Yeah, yep. enjoy that. Yeah, we'll go. I'll show you our view. So this is what we're looking at. There's a boat. Oh, there's another big boat going out. I don't think they're pirates. I don't think they're pirates. I also don't think that's sail powered. Well, considering the sails are on too. No. And how fast it's going. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Back off. Fuck off. You're too late, we've finished. No, I think there's a bit of bit on the floor behind my foot. <laughs> that it's going for. Oh yeah, look, it's, it's coming. It's a she. How do you know it's a she? Because it's brown and mottled. Oh, right. The male ones are white and grey with yellow beaks. Oh, right. Well, she's here. Sandra. Or Betty. She's after that that's on the floor. Here she goes, here she comes, here she comes. <laughs> which they do say you're not allowed to feed them which we didn't that literally fell on the floor um people on youtube aren't going to care are you kidding that's one of those things that people will absolutely bloody tear you down for you get cancelled for that kind of shit really? mm. oh also you have to drink dandelion and burdock when you're having fish and chips that's what we can give to l'oreal and joe dandelion and burdock some proper hoodus fudley and fish and chips and a tin of dandelion and burdock we should have to Whitby. No, because they want to see British, does it? Yeah, true. By seaside. That's a male seagull. See the size of the bastard. Jesus Christ. Right, they're all right, time to leave. <laughs> <laughs> they're all coming down. It's like a scene from Alfred Hitchcock.
looking for ones with best best prizes. Yes, how about a little octopus? One on each side, yeah. <laughs> you got the technique down now. You missed that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> that one broken, love. Well, this one looks good. Come. That one's got some stuff right on the edge. These things are crap, you were going to use the top. Yeah. Oh, oh nearly. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you change them back into normal money. I can't remember. You generally don't leave with any money. I think that's the idea. Yeah. You lose more than you win. Oh, it's getting closer. <laughs> Okay, go on then. It's all ready with all. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, it's so close, all of it. Last two. You going to put last one in? Yeah, go on then. Yes! <laughs> Sir, how much have we won? 12 pence. <laughs> right. Well, that equally divides. I've told Tom that there is no way he will ever win at these grabbing machines. I'm just going to go and use the one pencil right. on that machine. All right. They're good. They are very good, actually. Are they how you, how you, well, you never had them. So you need to film me having Is one. Is there like any foie gras to go with these or <laughs> some kind of mango and lime chutney or something like that? I was going to say, we don't have any um, strawberry and cherry coolie for you to dip it in. Yeah, it's nothing like I remember it. <laughs> pretty much the same. I mean, you never used to eat them hot. Well? Yeah, I'd say they're like 85% there. Right. I do think, lacking. well, I don't think the fat's as dirty as it used right. to be 30 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, the, the oil's probably been changed a bit more often. I suspect they're slightly more healthy now than they were 20 years ago. I doubt it. <laughs> I taste it. I only want half for now, though. All right, come on. Continuing on up the steps.
the Abbey. So I think we're going to pay to go in. Um, you have to pay to get into the Abbey. Right. So we've come up to the... Oh, <laughs> no climbing. Um, we've come up to the Abbey. I'm talking very quietly because it's really, really quiet up here. It's lovely. For how busy and loud and everything the city of Whitby is. Or the town or the village or whatever. Up here at the, at the Abbey is so peaceful. So yeah, um, we're up here. Very kindly got in for free um, because obviously, I mean, I say obviously, you might not know, used to work for English Heritage a long time ago. I think I worked there for like four years, so the lady very kindly gave us um, a couple of free tickets, which was really kind of her. Um, so, I mean, we'd have paid, but obviously it's nice to have my hard work from English Heritage kindly rewarded. So that's nice. Um, yeah, we're here. I mean, look around. Around. I'm getting slightly better at this vlogging in public, Lark. Um, although there's not many people around at the moment, so I feel a little bit less uh, conspicuous. Um, also, I think there's something about um, vlogging on your phone that makes it a lot easier to do it on a phone than it is on like a massive camera or something like that. Anyway. Tom's off looking at things, so I'm going to go and look as well. I'm going to stop talking to the camera. I just realised I hadn't really talked to the camera all day, so I thought I'd just check in with you. But yeah, having a wicked time. And I climbed up the 199 steps, and I only stopped more times than I care to imagine. <laughs> but I managed it. I made it. So, right, I'll take some footage. So this is the main entrance. Oh, look at that. So beautiful. Everywhere you turn, there's a beautiful view to see. So that would be the main entrance to church. These are where the old pillars were. And then this would have been the central area of the church with the altar. Up where Tom's kneeling. I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he must be taking a photograph, but it kind of looks like he's being sworn in as a knight of the round table or something. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and you can see there looks to be a an aisle here but this would have been these would have been the side aisles i don't think they had chapels look at that up there oh it's so beautiful it's where i geek out again like i did at fountains abbey <laughs> as well as a tiny doorway up there. Who remembers Fountains Abbey and trying to find the tiny doorways in the ruins? <laughs> There's more tiny doorways here. There's another one there. More doorways up there in the corner. I can hear a roosting pigeon somewhere. Oh, look at this vaulted ceiling. into a guy who asked us if we could take his photograph because he's on here on his own without his wife um he started telling us some cool stuff about how um apparently east the date of easter was decided here at this abbey and um he was saying that bram stoker found the title for dracula from a book that he found in whitby library did he say what book it was I can't remember. Travels of Transylvania or something like that. Right, Travels of Transylvania or something like that. Bram Stoker went to the library and I checked out this book, had a look at it, and um, apparently Dracula was on like page four or something. So he chose that for his book, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, everywhere I go, <laughs> I managed to find a book or a typewriter or another literary nerd <laughs> to talk to about books. So, super exciting. I mean, it was two hours, but it didn't feel like it was. Get a fancy new phone then. We're gonna have a little sit on this bench. Which bench do you want? The, the middle one. <laughs> you have to sit in the middle one. Oh, Nee Hodgson. 
There you go. I'm a Hodgson by birth. Well, by blood, kind of. Half. Oh, look at that. Gosh, that's beautiful. Very beautiful. So here I am trying to tell Tom all about the architectural history of the building. Tom's realised there's an echo. Go on. I don't know if you can hear that. So that's now amusing him. He's not listening to any of the history. <laughs> that's far more interesting. I don't know if it'll do it with your voice. No, it won't. It's, um... Who did it with his sneeze? Yeah, it needs to be a, it's a... A sharp, sharp sound. Note, I think. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Impressive that. Echo from such a little sound. They don't You what, sorry? Mm. I'm more interested in the architecture of the house, to be honest. So apparently this was an old manor house. Which I don't think, unfortunately, there's any surviving architecture for the house. Which is a bit of a shame. Neolithic. Oh. God, I find that fascinating. That they're here, you know, like you can almost touch them. Mm. And yet, how old are they? Like those ones. 5,000 years old, and yet they're just there. Yeah. It's crazy. I like that brooch, number 17. Yeah, I've seen Panalia that. copper alloy, alloy brooch to fasten clothes. It's number 17, if you can see it. Yeah, What's number 15? Silver strap end from a belt. God. So this is the house that we were just inside. Owned by the Cholmleys. I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, my Yorkshire accent's coming out there. <laughs> um, I didn't realise that this is a house that was owned by people who um, bought the abbey after the dissolution of the monasteries and created their home here. And this house was built then. Well, I think it's been added to a lot of the times because it's certainly not a 16th century build. Um, but yeah, it said that there was um, a history of strong women. So I'm going to investigate it and see if there's a character that I can maybe use in book three. So yeah, watch this space. I've taken some photos of the um, main people and the family and I'm going to investigate it when I get home. Right. <laughs> I've promised Tom I'll put the camera down in a minute and we can go for a walk. Because I need to be back at the car soon, don't we? I'll head back to the car. I want to use that bottle shop. That yes. Saw. And then uh, we'll head home. Head home. And then go to the hideaway and have a couple of beers. Oh, yeah. To have some beers on the way home. And then we'll have to go to the Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Did you? Yeah, two this time. <laughs> From one extreme to the other. Yeah. Oh, paranoid about falling down. <laughs> so 
everyone. Um, I'm looking quite sweaty now. Um, it's turned out to be a much hotter day than um, anticipated or forecast. So I'm in a black dress, obviously, as you can see. I've got tights on. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's turned out much warmer this evening. So I'm a little bit hot and bothered, um, as you can probably see by my glasses and my slightly shiny face. Um, Tom's just got some more chips because he was still hungry. Um, and we only shared that one this morning, so um, here he is. He's come back. <laughs> that looks like that might have been a bit of a chore for him. Anyway, um, we're just going to drive back to Huddersfield now. So I hope you've really enjoyed this um, video and coming along with us to Whitbay. Um, we hope you've had a good time and we'll be back again very shortly with another video. All right, bye guys.